Welcome again to the 2019 Suburban East Conference Music Festival. Please remember that audience members must stay in their seats until after the clinician has finished working with the performing ensemble. We also remind you to remain quiet and refrain from using electronic devices and flash photography during the session. Our clinician this year is Dr. Timothy Marr from St. Olaf College. Please welcome the Woodbury High School Concert Band under the direction of Mr. Tark Katzenmeyer and Mr. Matt Shervey.
Congratulations. Have a chair. We have probably zero minutes. Yeah. So I won't, I won't get into any detail here. The last thing I wrote is horns with an exclamation point for the last note that you guys played right there. Yeah, horns good. Yeah. Folks, this is a very uh, mature performance. The, the repertoire is demanding. The elegy is, is a piece that hardly ever gets done because it's devilishly challenging for uh, intonation. And you took it on, and you shaped it beautifully, and, and we had an experience with that piece. And the same thing with the Tekeli. There's all sorts of ebb and flow of, with the energy and so on. And, and you've got a really fine conductor here. He's a strong musician. I've worked with him as a clarinetist in a group that I conduct. Pay attention to him. You are. It's obvious. But just steal from him everything you can during your time with him, because he's got a lot to offer you. I applaud you for the uh, tone that you've accomplished, the blend that's going on. Uh, there are a couple moments in the Tekeli where you could just slow it down and really get yourself centered on things. A couple places shear it apart, but we'll blame that on snow days, right? You know? Uh, but uh, I, I'm just coming away quite impressed with what I just heard, so congratulations to you all. Well done. <laughs>
like I have to do an obstacle course every time I run down these. These are the weirdest stairs. It takes smart people from the Midwest to negotiate these stairs. It, it, in the West, like all the stairs are the same distance. Thank you guys. What a wonderful, what a wonderful performance. It's a great repertoire. Three beautiful pieces. Three pieces that I really, really love. Um, and 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 two of the three are by really good friends of mine. So that's that's kind of fun. Um, for me at least. Let's talk about the lily, just to start with. Um, I'm wondering, and I think I'll have you conduct this. This is one of the few Eric Whitaker pieces that I've never actually conducted. Um, I think that the opening can be much more open, much bigger. So can I just conduct the first chord? Here's your first chord. And just sing with me. Oh! Be that big, and then maybe the next four chords can be two also. Try to get the whole thing. Just keep it really, really. All those eight notes are super, super consistent. Okay? Beautiful sound. Big, big, big forte. I love that. So, it, and it's right, right on there. I'm going to leave that one be. Let's talk real quickly about flight song in my last minute and a half. The hardest thing about this is getting the right words, word stress, worried asking. I can tell you guys have worked on that a lot. I can hear it. Can you say for me, all we are, we have found in song? All we are, we have found in song. All we are, we have found in song. All we are, we have found in song. You have drawn this song from us. You have drawn this song from us. Now can you just sing that for me, bass and tenors? All we are. There's a two, three, and four. All we are, we have found in song. 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 All
Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You know, it's a... Uh, uh, we sometimes joke among directors because uh, there's nothing really simple about this symphony and yet the, yet the title Britain gave it simple symphony and it suits the group so well you just it showcases everything um, you do and uh, and when you can play that expressive I just want to say you know it's easy to get caught up with a group that plays well to just keep going harder and harder and harder and harder music when you play that beautifully and that expressive don't play anything harder that that's just, it's too gorgeous. You just gotta love it, you know? There's opportunities for other things, you know, that'll come along, but boy, really well chosen and uh, and thoroughly love it. So we got just a couple minutes. Um, I'll, I'll make a, a quick point and then we'll do a little exercise together um, that I think may help uh, down the road. Quick point, uh, on pizzicatos, can I just uh, hold your instrument for just a minute, help me with your name? Steven, thank you, Steven. So pizzicatos, remember, physics are at work here. So the string is stopped at the bridge. The string is stopped at the nut or wherever we depress our finger. So if my finger's here, let's say, I want to pluck the string at the midpoint between the bridge and where my finger is. So I'd actually be plucking it here. Or if I'm in first position, maybe up here. So in some cases, we may be able to pluck the string farther away from the bridge and get a little more resonant sound. You need your pizzicatos to carry more so we can hear them. The inner pizzicatos in the inner parts, you're playing them, they look great, they sound great, but they're just, they gotta be a little more present when you're accompanying. So I think if you just change the placement of where you're plucking, it'll help it come forward. Now, uh, we need a little more knuckle action on some of the chords and some of the down bow things. And that's what I call, could I just borrow the whole thing? Um, so sorry, Stephen. Um, thank you uh, for sharing. Um, so uh, if we just take our bows for a moment, straight up in the air, um, and, and if you can just lift them, are we both uh, French uh, over there in the, in the uh, yep, awesome, great. Thanks, bass players. And uh, we'll just go toward the ceiling just a little bit with your knuckles and then back to the middle, and then just a little bit. Now, if we apply that to the string, let's just take the, let's take the note G on the D string. How's that, all right, here we go. And if we just do that, and just set your bow and sink it in, and can you, in the lower part of the bow, can you just wiggle the string left to right without making a sound, just let it sink? And then we're gonna use that knuckle action, and we're gonna pop it right up into the air. See, wiggle and pop, go. And see if you can do it so the knuckles are kind of shooting the bow in the air. Ready? Right? And go. And one more, and go. Now, if we shoot the knuckles down and extend, we can go down bow. So here's our down bow. Ready? And wiggle and pop. And set, wiggle, and pop. And set, wiggle, and pop. Now we can go down bow at the tip. Uh, we can go down bow at the frog. Ready? And. And now go to the tip, wiggle, and we can go up bow there. Go. And back to the frog, wiggle and go. And back to the tip, go. Now at the frog, let's wiggle and let's go up bow. Ready, go. Now at the tip, set, wiggle, and let's go down bow, go. It's backwards, but it, it's a good exercise. We can do that in all parts of the bow. We can do that with scale routines. There's all kinds of cool things. I wrote a book. It's in my book. You can get it. There's all kinds of exercises you can do with collet. And if you do those exercises, then when you get to those chords, like at the very beginning, you'll be able to set that bow and pop them really nicely. Um, let's just try for just a moment right at the very um, at the very opening, and uh, we'll just get this started. We'll do a couple measures, that's all we have time for. But see if you can think about setting and popping on those chords so it's one sound and it comes out a little more unified. Instead of a roll motion, we want pop. Ready, and... That's it, one more time, and... Less roll, more pop, popcorn, and... That's it. Now the other thing with the left hand, with all this, it tends to get tense. So then we want to add a little vibrato to it on top of everything else. So it rings through. So we're giving a gift. The rests you have are gifts for the audience. So you want to make that note ring through and as much as you can add just a little decoration on vibrato on places like that, they'll come out just a little harsh. Really appreciate your attention to the spiccato and the uniform articulation throughout. The sensitivity of the Sarabond was just lovely. Uh, you did it, start the Sarabond, ready? 
here we go. We're going to breathe it in. You breathed it in really nice, but then you got tense right before you made a sound. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, so just breathe in and release the sound together. Here we are, and then we'll end with this. And here's the Cerebond. Once more. Yep, once more. And the release of the air is the release of the sound. Yep. You still hear, I hear a few consonants. <sighs> Warm air on a cold day. Right, but don't lose the intensity. Now, that sound with like a louder. <laughs> right, so we could work a bit more and get it, but that's the idea. So we get this, ah, so you're breathing in, you got all that right. We just got to get a few little tension things out. It's good. Boy, I just so enjoyed hearing you play. Congratulations on what you're doing. Keep it up. I really, really have a great day the rest of the day today, too. Thank you.